Hi, and welcome to the jam session. We've got some good pickers here, and everybody's getting tuned up right now. And uh, you can probably hear a fair number of D notes and G notes. There's Ds and Gs on all of our different instruments. And um, typically, people compare notes, maybe check an electronic tuner, something like that. And before you get in a jam session, you want to make sure you're in tune with everybody in the jam session. So I think we're about I'd like to talk to you just a few minutes about some of the understandings about the structure of music that will help you make good and easy decisions and choices about playing along in the jam session. And one has to do with picking the key that you're going to sing in. Uh, you could sing any song that you know in any key. A lot of times you'll hear other people doing it in a certain key, and maybe it's easy to play in that key, but you find yourself at the top of your range trying to sing it, or at the bottom of your range trying to sing it, and you might find that it's okay, it's okay to have a songbook at a bluegrass jam session. I, I, I encourage people not to all have a songbook open so that they're all getting the chords out of the songbook because they should be listening for the chords and watching other people for the chords. But if the lead singer needs the lyrics... There's a lot of words out there. There's a lot of words. Land, so. <laughs> okay. I don't know them all. But anyway, yeah, so I thought we'd do Long Journey Home in the key of G, if that's all right. Um, and uh, I might try and grab a tenor part to that. Yeah, that's that'd right. be great. That'd be great. And uh, I figure I'd, I'd kick it off, and uh, we'd probably start out with a chorus. Okay. Because that seems pretty standard for this song. And uh, yeah, so. Let's right. roll. Everybody ready? Yes, yeah. sir. 